And one of the lawmakers who visited the border today, Republican New York Congressman John Katko. He's also the ranking member on the Homeland Security Committee. Sir, thank you for coming on today. Uh, your colleague, the House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, calls this a human tragedy. Would you agree with that assessment? And, and what did you see on the tour? Well, there's no question it's a human tragedy, and it's a tragedy that didn't have to happen. When you give people in desperate situations false hope, this is what happens. And uh, we, uh, the president has given them false hope by signaling that he's going to relax the immigration standards. And the people, the big winners in this whole thing are the coyotes and the drug trafficking organizations that are smuggling these people to the border. And what I saw today confirmed everything I already believed, and that the disorder at the border was caused by Biden's executive order. There's just no question about that. And we went up to what we, they call the Monument Three, which is intersection of Texas, uh, New Mexico, and, uh, uh, and Mexico. And when I was standing up there looking out, I was talking to, the, talking to one of the agents, and, he's, yeah. and he said that the night before, 100 agents had come across. And uh, he said, some of them are on the list. And I said, what list? He said, the terror watch list. Yeah. And that really sent my antenna up. So it's not just people come from Honduras, come from all over the world. They're starting to exploit this gigantic gap in our system, and it doesn't have to be. Yeah, and, and yet the Speaker of the House says this is Trump's fault. Watch her, and I'll get your response on the other side, Congressman. This is a humanitarian challenge to all of us. Uh, what the administration has inherited is a broken system at the border, and they are working to correct that in the children's interest. Congressman, does anybody believe that? I mean, the Mexican president doesn't even believe that. What are your thoughts on Speaker Pelosi's comment? Boy, I tell you, that's, that smacks of desperation. But what, what was going on before President Biden took over was that the, the, the surge at the border had ended. People were discouraged from coming to the border, and they were encouraged to come into this country the right way. And that's mm -hmm. what, that was working. And as soon as you change that, yeah, you have people exploiting that once again. And not only are they taking pe uh, people coming across uh, that shouldn't be coming across in record numbers because of the because of Biden's comments, but they're also taking people that were, were they called and remain in Mexico policy to stay in Mexico until their asylum cases are heard, mm -hmm. and they're letting them come into the country. And here's a fact I learned today, speaking to some Border Patrol agents. Once you let someone out into this country that's here illegally and you give them a court date and tell them to come back, 99% yep. of them never come back. You know, it's amazing to me because even the left is framing this whole crisis differently than what they did back in 2019. You know, it was kids in cages. You remember that vividly back in 2019. It was kids in cages over and over again. And now you have CNA, CNN saying things like these are jail-like facilities these children are involved in. You know, Speaker McCarthy's are... Uh, leader, former minority leader McCarthy said, hey, listen, these kids are being treated well, but, but this is not the best situation for them at the border. It's not. And I can't imagine the desperation parents must have to bring their children to the border and send them across. And maybe she put a piece of tape on her, on her shirt with some instructions, whatever, because yeah. that's what the cartel level, the cartels tell them to do. But my God, this is nuts. And 120 uh, Border Patrol agents were taken off the border to deal with the individual, the unaccompanied children in, the, in these facilities. And we already learned today that they're at max. So that means more Border Patrol agents are going to come off the border, make our country mm -hmm. less safe. And now we know people even on the terror watch list, people from Yemen and, and the Middle East are coming Coming across the border now, so we are we are really uh, we really have a time time, time problem here, yep. for sure. Yep, Co Congressman uh, Katko, thank you for joining us, sir. We appreciate it. Thanks so much.